Imagine a place where silence reigns over vast, frozen landscapes, where the winds whisper tales of survival and resilience. This is Antarctica, Earth's last untouched frontier, a world of breathtaking beauty and chilling isolation. Here, explorers face relentless challenges, pushing human limits against nature's fiercest elements. In this video, we venture into the unknown, where every step uncovers the mysteries of this icy realm. A journey of courage, discovery, and the pure spirit of adventure. Never even seen until the 19th century, Antarctica lays claim to hallowed history when it comes to the annals of human exploration. During a Russian expedition headed by Mikhail Lazarev and Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen in 1820, the ice shelves of Antarctica were most likely first observed. British explorers Robert Falcon Scott and Ernest Shackleton were the first to reach the magnetic South Pole in 1909, and the geographic South Pole was first reached in 1911 by Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen. The White Continent is the coldest, driest, iciest, and windiest place on the planet. Technically, it's a desert, with just 6.5 inches of precipitation every year. The air is so clear and pure that everything seems enhanced. Colors, shapes, senses. Coming here is an adventure, regardless of the level of comfort in which you travel. The vast emptiness of the southernmost continent cannot be exaggerated. When you travel to Antarctica, it's just you, your shipmates, and the scientists and long-term travelers you meet in settlements along the way. It's exciting, challenging, and life-affirming. Research stations in Antarctica are specialized facilities that support scientists studying the continent's unique environment, climate, and ecosystems. These stations are typically run by various countries under the Antarctic Treaty, which promotes peaceful and cooperative scientific work. Built to withstand extreme cold, high winds, and isolation, they provide essentials like labs, living quarters, and power systems. Research areas include glaciology, biology, meteorology, and astronomy. These stations are crucial for monitoring climate change and understanding global systems, contributing valuable data worldwide.
That remarkably uninhabited quality means that the wildlife in Antarctica, particularly the penguins, have no fear of humans. They've never experienced predators on land, so they're confident and curious. Penguins are very social creatures, and their rookeries often exceed a million birds. With the exception of the emperor penguin, most penguins like to congregate on beaches or rocky landscapes. You can often smell a rookery long before you see one. Seabirds like skuas, petrels, and the wandering albatross are also part of the Antarctic landscape. Skuas are bold scavengers, known for their striking plumage and fearless behavior, while albatrosses, with wingspans up to 11 feet, soar gracefully, sometimes traveling thousands of miles across the Southern Ocean. Seals are another vital part of the ecosystem, with species like the Weddell, Crab-eater and Leopard seal all suited to the Antarctic's challenges. Weddell seals dive deep beneath the ice in search of fish, while the fearsome Leopard seal is a predator of penguins. Antarctic waters host magnificent whales. Species like the blue and humpback whale visit each summer, drawn by abundant krill. Their migration to these nutrient-rich waters highlights the rich and interconnected biodiversity that thrives in Antarctica's icy realm. The icebergs of Antarctica are colossal, captivating formations of ice that break off from the continent's massive ice shelves, primarily along its coastlines. These icebergs can vary widely in size, from smaller bergs to behemoths that span miles in length and tower over 100 feet above the waterline. They are typically tabular in shape, with flat tops and steep, sheer sides, resembling floating plateaus. These icebergs slowly drift with ocean currents, sometimes carrying unique nutrients that promote marine life. As climate change accelerates, iceberg calving is increasing, affecting global sea levels and emphasizing the fragile beauty of Antarctica's ice-covered landscape. Adventure is at the very heart of an Antarctic cruise. Visitors can experience guided glacier hikes, navigating through towering ice formations and crevasses. Kayaking allows close encounters with seals, whales and icebergs, while ice climbing presents challenging ascents on frozen cliffs.
Intrepid explorers can camp on the snow, under clear skies showcasing the stunning Southern Hemisphere stars. For a broader perspective, scenic flights or helicopter tours reveal breathtaking views of Antarctica's frozen expanse. Antarctica offers stunning destinations like the South Pole, where explorers stand at Earth's southernmost point. Deception Island, a volcanic caldera, features natural hot springs and unique wildlife encounters with penguins and seals. The Le Maire Channel is a scenic waterway lined by towering ice cliffs, ideal for cruises and kayaking. Paradise Bay showcases breathtaking glaciers, icebergs, and abundant marine life, while Neko Harbour allows visitors to set foot on the continent itself. Landscapes like these inspire even the most casual photographer. For anyone with an eye for beauty, Antarctica presents the opportunity of a lifetime. Among the penguins and pinnipeds, it's easy to feel more like a biologist in the field than a tourist. The majority of visitors to the Antarctic travel by sea, sailing from Argentina's southernmost port of Ushuaia to the tip of the Antarctic Peninsula, taking two days to sail across the Drake Passage that lies between the two continents. The quickest way to reach Antarctica is on a fly-sail cruise. Though visiting Antarctica might be expensive, it will give you a lifetime experience that you will never forget.